uh, Thierry Michel, and His Excellency, the UN Mission Ambassador of Belgium, to the Ambassador of Belgium to the UN, um, His Excellency Mark Beckstein. And I would like to invite you to say a couple of words and introduce the film. And then afterwards, we're going to have the panel and we're going to have a chance to talk about all these matters and how, what we can do, each one of us, to make a difference. Your Excellency. Okay, well, thank you very much, Nora. And good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's, uh, it's a pleasure, really, to be here with you uh, tonight. Um, to uh, say a few words about this film. I think I can be very brief. First, because uh, the film uh, speaks for itself, uh, you will see that. And second, because we have also with us uh, here, indeed, uh, the filmmaker, the director, Thierry Michel, who, of course, can uh, speak about the film much better than I could. But let me just say... Um, it's, yeah. <laughs> well, if you hear me, it's fine. Um, uh, let me just say that um, beyond, oh, let's, let's try this one, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, beyond the story of this uh, great man, uh, Dr. Mukwege, is also a very important cause uh, that Nora already mentioned, uh, the fight against uh, sexual violence in conflict. And I think, indeed, when uh, the Nobel Prize, uh, Peace Prize uh, was awarded uh, last year to both Dr. Mukweke and Nadia Murad, jointly to, to, to both of them, uh, I think that was a, um, absolutely a great shot. And Nadia Murad, probably you know, uh, is, is a young Yazidi girl uh, from Iraq who has been victim herself sexual violence, um, and Dr. Mukwege is, is a Congolese doctor um, taking care of, of women victims of sexual violence. And the two together uh, coming from so, so, dif so different uh, you know, backgrounds, I think is a very powerful uh, message. And what I also would like to say is it's not only happening in Congo, not only happening in Iraq, unfortunately. Sadly. It's happening in so many places around the world. South Sudan, Myanmar, so many other places. And this puts on us, um, I'm speaking now as, as a diplomat, as a representative of my country to the United Nations, it gives us a big responsibility to, um, to do something about it. Um, I think the first step is, is raising awareness about it, and this film contributes to that. The second step is really action through action. And let me say, we, we will, will try to do that in the UN through the, the Security Council. Also, Belgium is a member right now. So we try to contribute and do uh, what, what we can. I think I can say he's a friend of Congo and a friend of the Congolese people, and that's probably the most important. Thierry. Over to you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for the festival. Uh, excuse my English, but I try to speak English. Or is it for, for, for us? Uh, I have this privilege to, to shoot uh, an African doctor that is an exceptional personality, a man of uh, conviction. A man uh, of courage that take the, the risk uh, of his life, life that see uh, very uh, posh, very personalities that was working with him killed in his hospital of to discover the patient and the, the doctors that were killed. He escaped, but in the last year, he has two collaborators that were killed brutally uh, because uh, the power want to eliminate this doctor and finally eliminate uh, two collaborators of the doctor. But 
when you have this kind of personality, you can make a, a, a bad film. But uh, I was very like yeah, worried uh, to make this film. I don't know. I don't. Je ne voulais pas. I didn't want to make this film at the beginning. I want to produce, but not to make this film. I was finally obliged to make this film, and it was very difficult to think about what is the, the method, what is the aesthetic to find, to show and to film the ignominy. The ignominy where the body of the woman is the uh, place of the war. And this extreme uh, violence, sexual violence. And uh, I take the the choice of uh, work with the, the beauty. And you said it's a good film for this aspect. I decide to, to make this. And I have to work with this uh, landscape that is a paradise, uh, incredible paradise. Uh, it's an homage for this uh, country, but it's a hill in the end. The second beauty is the beauty of the woman. You have to see how the women there were, the victims, uh, with the help and the support of the doctor, uh, succeed to make the resilience and for a part of them to begin the resistance collectively. And it's a big lesson for us. And the third approach of the beauty is the beauty of this man, the doctor. It was easy because he has this uh, uh, capacity of empathy, this capacity to uh, exchange uh, this conviction. And it was uh, a good uh, experience for me to, to meet the doctor that now is a friend, more than a friend, it's a member of my family, cinematographic family, but more than that, because. Uh, but I have just to say that this film is uh, a voyage. Uh, it's a travel the story. And uh, we are beginning with the, with the difficulties of the victims. And the dramaturgic line of the film is to go to the resilience and find, finally to go to the resistance. But at the beginning, the testimonies of this woman, you, are, you don't have to see the, the shocking pictures, but only the speech of the people. And uh, it is uh, impressive. I hope you are making this travel that is a travel of hope. Thanks, sir. Thank you very much.